There we got some pink chickens on stilts. Otherwise known as the Greater Flamingos. And they are pretty. See, this is why they're known as wading birds, because their legs are so long they can walk along the bed of the pond without even having to float like ducks. Their long legs basically compensate for that. Hey, little guy. Whoa, Pumba. Your babies have gotten big the last time I seen them. Like, they've grown as big as you, actually. So basically, for my new, one of my New Year's resolutions for this year is to basically do this on a weekly basis where I just make a zoo vlog every Wednesday and yeah, just thought it would be a cool idea. Now I believe this will help me get back into the swing of making more content as well as yeah, talking about factual things like about this okapi over here, which is also known as the short-necked forest giraffe of the Congo and the only other living relative of the giraffe. Yeah. Let's see his mom. It's nice that he's actually out in the open in the sunlight. Really beautiful animal. You see nothing but stripes. Nothing but a dazzling pattern of stripes. That could be actually used as a good uh, wallpaper or background or something. Oh wait, it's a gre it's a grevy zebra. Oh. So here we have Ali, the biggest animal found here at the zoo. He's about 7 tons, 12,000 pounds to be exact, and 10 feet tall at the shoulder. He's about, I'm thinking, nearly 30 years old, and was donated by the late Michael Jackson way back in 1997. He's a pretty laid-back individual. Right now he's just eating his hay, and uh, as you can see, he loves the the hay and it will probably just continue to eat it until it's all gone yep that's all eat for you hello mr. python just slithering around The deadly green mamba. Extremely long snake. Yep, I'm talking about you. One thing I really like about this walk is that it makes you feel like you're walking up in the canopies of the trees here and uh, yeah that's pretty much all I wanted to say about this part yeah. the king of the beasts
gets comfortable with the Queen of the Beasts to help in repopulating their endangered species. So it's always nice to just take it easy in the sunlight, right? Is he licking her butt? Oh, are you guys actually going to do it? Oh, fantastic. See, she holds down her neck to keep her in place. And one, two, three, it's already over. Just like that. Great job, you two. Hopefully we'll see some cubs in the coming months. <coughs> you just laid down right on a rock. Wow. Very romantic. Only, I think about 18 seconds worth of stuff. And what are you do? Oh, you're playing around with a big old green jelly bean. Yes, that's the way you grab prey out of the water hole. <laughs> Silly girl. So here is our closest living relatives, the bonobos. They are 99.8% genetically identical to us, even more closely than the chimpanzees. And they care a lot about one another, just like humans. The little ones, just like human children, are really rambunctious. Look how cute they are. Yeah, here comes the little... the whole family, actually. So here we have a little monkey known as the cotton top tamarin. Now there's really no need for me to explain why they're called cotton top tamarins because well their their cotton tops are very visible as you can see they look like they have little albert einstein haircuts <laughs> Yeah, you can.
What a goofy bunch you are. The interesting life of the Magellanic Penguin, the sixth largest penguin on the planet. And they live in warmer climates, so they're able to tolerate the warm weather here in Florida, unlike the, their Antarctic brethren. They're just sunbathing right now. Look at those flippers. See right there, that's the blue-faced honey eater. Really pretty bird. Grooming himself. You see that thing right over there? That's not a giant rabbit. That's a southern walla 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 wallaby. Marsupial of Australia. Look at those big giant feet and those little front legs. Arms, actually. They are so cute. Also, there's like a there's a show going on to my right, and that's why there's somebody yelling some stuff. So. Land of the Tiger. Oh, there's Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey. Aw, oh, Jeffrey. Are you being a sleepy, sleepy piggy? And there's your mate right there. She has a little bit of tusks of her own. There she is right there. The Sumatran tiger. She's kind of sleeping right now, as well as the Babarusa pigs. I think that might be Lucy. It's kind of hard to tell if her eyes closed, but I know she's one of our adult females. This might be her child, up in the run here, though I'm not entirely sure. Look at that eye. Up there, watching for anything interesting. Hmm. See, she's, she sees me right there. She's looking directly at me. I remember when George was born, he was like always looking out these windows here at us. All right. And now he's always with Patty, or he'll be chasing a colobus monkey. He's actually been uh, hanging around Kabuka a lot lately, trying to climb on her and stuff. He's been really cute. 
Oh, cute. What's he doing with the leader? He's being silly. George's dad is the big silverback over here. Patty's dad is the silverback over in the corner. He's resting. Oh, you said you had one? No. Wait! And there's Mama. It's okay. Oh, you have really pretty babies. You're all right. Not doing anything. Keep on chewing the cud. So being that the battery of my camera is about to expire. I give you Ollie one more time before it dies. There he is in the setting sunlight. Beautiful animal. He might be picking up a scent and why he raised his trunk like that. What you doing, boy? And there he goes, moseying on down. I hope you enjoyed this zoo vlog, and you all have a very good afternoon. Till the next one, next Wednesday, this is Ian, signing off. The national bird of Uganda.